up, RJ gang? I am back with another DIY, and we're going to be doing a Backwoods Barbie shaker tray. And if you do not know what a shaker tray is, it's just where the glitter is floating in water, and you can shake it, and it'll move. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, I'm about to get straight into this, so y'all don't have to hear me talk this whole time. But subscribe to this channel before anything happens. Like this video, and subscribe, and comment down below your thoughts. Thank you for watching. So this is everything that you will be needing. Um, I have my Backwoods printout. This is regular paper with adhesive backing. So you will need to seal it. And what I will be sealing it with here is this clear transfer tape. Um, and then I will be showing you my UV resin. I use this. I got this off of Amazon. Baby oil. I got the Backwoods, the ashtray mold along with the jar and the two different glitters the uv resin can cure in the sun as well as with the uv light so i highly suggest using uv resin for this project but i'm about to place this clear backing onto the picture the already printed out backwards barbie photo so i'm gonna take this clear paper i'm gonna Fold it into a U-shape. I'm going to put that U-shape, the bottom of it, the base of that U-shape. I'm going to set that onto the picture first. And then I'll be smoothing out the rest of the sides. This will decrease the chances of bubbles and lines. Just having it flat, smooth, and easy. I'm going to make sure that's completely adhered before I put it on a Cricut mat. And then I'm going to, I'm just going to print it out on transparent, transparent lights but it was still too much pressure so you could play around with the settings on your Cricut and figure out what, what works best for you guys so this is the clear plastic that i got from amazon um i think it comes by 24 by 24 so you will have to cut it and have it fit your tray how it needs to be fit I, I, you could have put the measurements in on Cricut and cut it out that way, but I did it this way and I trimmed it up to where I needed it to be. So I, that's all I'm really doing. I'm just cutting it and having this first picture, like this first cutout adhere to the bottom low key perfectly. And then the second one will be slightly bigger so that way all the oil and the glitter will be able to fit in to that space between the first layer of clear paper and then the second layer of clear plastic so that's all i'm doing here is measuring it up cutting the corners having it a little bit rounded and sticking that bad boy flat And to save time, I'm cutting out all of this while my Cricut is still cutting out the Backwoods Barbie for me to place to the bottom of the tray. I am going to put the Backwoods Barbie on the tray first, and then I'll be doing the first layer of clear plastic and adhering that with the UV resin, and then doing the second plastic. So stay tuned for the process. Trust me, it's a process. And... It'll come out beautiful, just like you. So I'm making this plastic, I mean, I'm making this popsicle stick wrapped in tape just in case my two plastic decides to stick together and kind of have like a vacuum seal. I have it to push like the baby oil through and the glitter through, but luckily it did not do that this time, so I didn't have to use it. But I'm about to start getting into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. I'm flipping my mat this my mat this way. That way my pictures doesn't bend. What I want to put on my tray does not bend. I'm bending the mat instead of bending the actual photo. Cricket tip number two in this video.
I honestly was about to stop here because I was just loving the simplicity of this tray. Just the pink and the black was like so cute to me. But I came here for a reason. So let's get this reason done. Here's a UV resin. I'm just applying this to the edges of the um to the edges of the tray. You good? That's what I'm doing. I'm just applying it. You actually do not need a lot of this UV resin. Uh, I thought I did, but you really just don't. It's neater when you use less as well. So just keep that in mind. Less is more. So after I let it sit outside for about 25 minutes, it is dry and ready to go. Here I am measuring my popsicle stick again to make sure that it'll be cool and clutch. This is the second layer of plastic that is slightly bigger than the first layer. I'm actually going to trim it up a little bit more because it doesn't need to be resting that high. We don't need that much baby oil. So I'm about to trim this up and then I'll come back when it's ready to be applied. So I got it to where I was comfortable with um, putting the UV resin. This is not directly on top of the clear one. It is up a little bit farther so make sure you keep that in mind so you don't do the same mistake i did the first time so you're just going to apply this uv resin all around and then um you're going to let it go outside and sit again this time i let the second one dry for 45 minutes just to make sure that it's completely dry and none of the baby oil will seep through So I'm all done and it's, oh, I'm not all done, it's all dry. <laughs> and you can see right where the bubble occurred is right where I left the opening at. Um, so it just takes a little bit of practice sometimes. You might be perfect the first time or the second time, but it just takes practice. Practice. <laughs> it takes practice. So I'm actually trying to get this lip up so I can insert some oil and some glitter, but it's super hard. I don't know if I didn't leave enough open or what but it wasn't working for me so i'm struggling here i'm about to cut to where i start putting the oil in okay so i got my handy dandy popsicle stick holding the opening for me so i could go ahead and add this oil in and then add some glitter you see how you see these pink hearts before the baby oil and now it's gonna just be all transparent it looks like it's all silver in there and it's just like it's too much glitter so um yeah but i know that's the next time maybe i'll do a darker pink or something like that but i'm talking too much and i'm gonna stop so just watch the video This was getting very tedious, so I just took the baby bottle and just start squirting it in there, and it kind of worked. It worked, actually. It didn't kind of work. It worked. So I'm about to show you guys that right now, and then I'm going to show you closing it up, and then it, basically this is the end of the video. So like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. So I'm just about to clean off where I poured the baby oil at so that way it doesn't mess up any of the setting for the ribbon. So I'm just wiping that off and as you can see, I'm taking off some of the paint. So I will be going in and touching that up. So I'm just wiping it off and I'm gonna apply the UV resin and then I'm gonna just set it back outside. It only took 20 minutes for this third coat of UV resin to dry as it was very sunny outside. So that truly helped.
I'm using black acrylic paint to touch up the sides. So I was kind of getting like a dirty Barbie kind of feel, like a rough Barbie kind of feel. So I decided to take that same acrylic paint and paint the inside of my mold just to kind of like get that into the ashtray when I pour the epoxy. So now I'm just laying the epoxy like how I would lay it on any other video, on any other rolling tray. Um, this epoxy is just going to seal the entire thing, seal the plastic, seal the metal tray, and make sure everything stays inside of this tray and nothing leaks. So you just want to spread it out evenly um, and get it up there on those edges to secure and seal that rim of that tray. And basically, it'll be done. Really, this time. It'll be done after it dries and everything. And after your ashtray dries, everything is finished. So this is how everything came out um, with this jar. I didn't like the solid pink look with the whole tray. I wanted it more of like a rustic black. So I just took my finger in the paint and rubbed it around the rim try to try to get this look. And I also added glitter on the top and I'll be sealing that with epoxy later today. But this is how the tray came out. Um, and I also spray painted the back. As you can see, I got a little messy, but I usually don't do the back of the tray anyways. And this is how it looks. This is all of it. And this is the ashtray. I think this is the best ashtray I've done yet. Um, very cute. I took the acrylic paint from the last clip and just brushed it along the mold. And that's how I got the more of the black look on the inside and the outside of this mode but this is all thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and like comment 